Well, hello there guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna be reviewing the Mega Constructs Halo Warhawk run from the 10th anniversary series. I know a lot of you guys have been anticipating this this set and um, I pre-ordered it a month ago from Amazon and I've been on my phone this whole month just waiting for it to, to arrive. And finally it is here and I wanted to show to show a video sharing with you guys all the new stuff this set has to offer. So before we begin the video, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoy the video, please. It will help a lot. And with a further ado, let's get started. First, we have the Master Chip, which is based on Halo 3. Pretty cool guy. Has a lot of depth on his armor. Has a new metallic green too. His visor just looks awesome. There we go. There we go. Let me see if I can get a good view of his visor. No, sorry guys, but I have a look, low, my, my phone doesn't take like good images, so sorry about that, there you have it, the Master Chief, with a, he also has like the, um, the new golden, the new golden flame tower, that for some reason now Mega, Mega Constructs likes to do golden stuff, and not to blame them, it looks good. But eh, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I have always preferred him to have a an assault rifle, as he has been on all the games. He had like a flame tower for like Halo Three, but it was for like the mission for the for the against the flood. And I don't think he even had it for any of the of the actual um, videos. That appear in the game, I don't know how they call shorts, shorts, cinematic parts. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. There you have it. Awesome figure. Pretty good depth on the figure, on the details. And now we will see it from behind. Oh, there we go. Looks the weapon looks really weird from behind. That's okay. Has the classic metallic. It has the metallic too on the on the legs behind. The only part different is the maybe the the helmet and the arms and the the forearms, which have the which have a little lighter non-metallic green to it. So pretty cool. I like the figure. Never had like. An actual new Master Chief version, except for the Combat Evolve from Series 8. Compared to him, I don't know, like, this looks good, but uh, the only thing that I really annoys me is the cold, cold detail, details on the figure. I don't know, I don't like it. Pretty good though. They're gonna change it now, don't they? On Series 10. And he has the same stuff, same green on the main armor, on the elbows, on the legs. Except but he doesn't have it on the arms. But he does have it on the helmet. Which the new master, the, the master, the other master ship doesn't. I would have preferred him to have like all metallic green. That would have been awesome. But I guess. Life is like that. Here we have artwork. Just if you want, want to see it. The feature sets. Actually, this is not a feature set. This is like a new, uh, like it was on the Amazon pre-order too. But uh, first, it's, it costs like twice, and second, it's not like as wanted as this set. Like I don't know, but the Warhawk, the Arbiter. The Master Chief, hmm? the last mission of Halo 3, 
I don't know about you guys, but that's one of maybe my second favorite mission of all the games. After the one on Halo 3 also, in which we have to defeat three scarabs. But the last mission of Halo 3, it, I really enjoyed playing it with my brother. Pretty awesome level. And this brings a lot of nostalgia to that. Okay guys, now we are going to move a little bit. We're going to move the Master Chief a little bit to the right. Just so we can continue. Later I'm going to bring my camera, which I didn't seem to find. If you guys... Um, but uh, I, this is just a rough video. Maybe later you guys can tell me everything I miss. Maybe something you wanted to see better. All the little details. I will change my video. I will put those details. I, and if you want to give me extra information so I can also put in the video, that will be really thankful. Really um, good for me. I don't know how to say that. Well, let's continue. Now, next. Uh, ah, you see. You saw. A little bit of spoilers. <laughs> okay. The Arbiter. Not only the Arbiter, but for Mega Constructs, one of the most hardest uh, hardest pieces to get on the whole on the whole creations of Mega Constructs. I don't know. This guy is. Yeah, unless you want the old figure, it's really expensive because in a, on eBay, I think uh, guys in China sell them like for five dollars, but it's like the old figure. And from there, the price goes up. And for to get like the similar figure as this one from Halo Series Five, I think it's like fifty to a hundred dollars, if I'm not wrong. Uh, as well as the Master Chief, this version of the Master Chief, the, the other one cost like eight, eighteen dollars on eBay, at least. And this one cost fifty, and I have it, which is pretty awesome. I couldn't wait to get it. Pretty, uh, and yeah, it's golden instead of gray, uh, instead of silver, as you will have expected. But it seems like everybody is down to the fact that he, the Arbiter was indeed golden instead of silver. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I'm colorblind, but I always thought he was silver instead of instead of gold. But pretty awesome. It really differentiates Boba down from from the cruel guy, the other guy from Halo Wars. Um, Ah, so what was his name? Uh, Ripamurami. Ripamurami or something like that. He's, what was his name? I haven't played that game in a long while. A pretty good game. Halo Wars. But, yeah. Really differentiates him from there. From the other guy. And I think he's coming on on Series, series 10 actually. And since he's and since the arbiter is 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 golden, and and the mega constructs uh, has confirmed that the this arbiter is golden, then the other one that is silver is then confirmed to be Ripa Morami. So yeah, I figured out all that by myself, guys. Really proud of me. Okay, now we're gonna see the back. This elbow right here, classic from the Arbiter. Really awesome stuff. Golden to the teeth. Awesome figure to have. Except for one small detail. His head. Yeah, its head you can tell me whatever you want, the Arbiter has always been dark purple to me, like I don't know, really dark purple, or maybe even a little black, I don't know, you, but, yeah, but to me, like even, look, look, now that I'm looking at it, even on the artwork, he doesn't seem brown, he seems like really dark brown, 
I don't know. But in the in the game, I I I will swear I will swear um, I remember him as being a uh, light, light um, dark purple or maybe even actual black. I don't know. I think there was, that was a miss for in the part of Mayor constructs. You can tell me whatever you want. You can tell me he was brown. He he was light brown. He was red. He was I don't know all the all the colors in the in the um, rainbow. I don't know. You can't change your mind on that. That was a huge miss. And if you guys are like me and want to fix it, guess what? You can. You just gotta get, You just gotta have one of those old figures laying around. All the leads. It's gonna this this uh, what is his name? Explorer. I don't know what uh, Ranger. It's gonna make the sacrifice for a greater cost. And in here you're gonna see miracles happen. It's great. Take it off. Good. Really soft. Put it right there. There you go. The Arbiter. As God wanted him to be. Just kidding. Um, yeah, there you go. Seems to me at least way better than the other one. I don't know what you guys think. Give me your thoughts. Let's compare him back to back. Okay, so here we have the Arbiter with black. And here we have the Arbiter with Yeah, I guess I could have done that before. But I just forgot. Let me see what you guys think. You prefer it black or you prefer it brown? For now, I guess I will keep it um, brown because he deserves it. And I don't have many leads. Oh, well, I do. I do have like a lot of them, but they are like the classic versions. I don't have a lot of the new versions. As well as the Arbiter, there's another guy who's a total miss, who is. Death, you can clearly see his his black. Like, look, you can clearly see on the game he's black, and even on the cover of this of the of the actual Mega Constructs box in which he comes in, he's black. And Mega Constructs just decided him to do him dirty. Caesar Refumi, also known as the Heretic, who joins up with the Oracle. Very awesome guy to have against this guy I don't know what happened to him I think he dies as everyone does in this game any secondary character do you know his I think there is like I, I, I don't know but I, I think I heard a story in which the the second commander of the orbiter like the guy that comes in in a mission and rescue him with a grave after he was sent by the flood to to like help him or something like that. Wait, do you guys remember that guy? I think he's dead. And I think the the UNSC or some formation like ONU or something like that. I don't know. The the United Nations. I don't know. <laughs> but one of them killed uh, killed him and a bunch of elites. And I'm almost sure that's a true story. And I didn't have a fever dream with that. Okay, so there you guys have it. Two major foes on Halo 3. Joined together and looking majestic. And look, even even the... Oh, I don't know if I told you already, but look. The whole figure is black. Except for the head. I don't know. It seems like... They wanted him black, but... Just changed it at the very end. Just decided not to go with it, along with it. Okay. Let's continue, let's put them to the right. And now let's put driven by the ODSTs, by a group of ODSTs, the Warhawk. Which 
to be honest, I don't think it's like the main attraction on the on this set at all. Like it's pretty awesome and all, and all. Like it has some pretty good details, but like, come on. Do you want this guy, this guy, and these guys? I mean, like most people will even pay for for thirty dollars, three whole dollars just to get those three, just four, and forget about the the warhawk. But make constructs these ones, just fell generous for once, and give us this masterpiece right here. Okay, let's start reviewing it. Three passenger seat, three passenger vehicle with bottoms to come to drive and a handle um, handle they never use. Glass for the for the just to see I wish I it was broken or something because like look all the details that make it look like it is this this car has been on a rough day and the glass is like perfectly fine. That seems kind of annoying, kind of a miss. Let me guys let me know what you guys think. The wheels pretty standard wheels can do whatever they want. Really easy to move. To maneuver, I don't think it can go sideways. I think it just can go front and back. The the um, I think the mix bounce. I don't know. The mix bounce uh, and no break. It's the pretty useful and the best part is that it's useful against like you don't even have to put like the little thing you put on the back of the seats to hold them down because the seat will do it by itself. And the actual whole thing will do it by itself. Like it can hold them. Like here, here let me show you. It can hold them on the on their place. That's what I mean. Like it, they they won't move anywhere. I promise you that. Look, it's a leap of faith. Don't do this at home, please. There you guys go. There you go. The oddities here are perfectly fine. Except for him, yeah. The turret is not the best. It kind of shakes a lot, like, like it twists a lot, which is good for a um, warhawk turret. But I wish it was like the movement down here and not up here because it, it twists. No, no, wait, the opposite. Up here the movement and not down here because it makes it really easy to like bumper. And you don't really need to hold him down, so it, it would be cool if just the turret had the movement and not this little circle. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. It's just my opinion. And this guy died. I don't know what this. Oh, I leave. Okay, moving on. Put him back. Working with, with his friends. There you go. Perfect. Oh, and I forgot to tell you these guys. Oh, wait, I didn't even finish my review. Okay, the turret. All the. Uh, it has like a lot of parts that have the same green metallic as the Master Chief has. Uh, look at this. Beautiful. Barrel turret. It has uh, like the little stick. And if you don't have it in, in, in place, you won't even know what it is. Oh, wait a second.